What's up everyone? Dr. Steve, physical therapist here from Opportunity Physical Therapy. So I wanted to go over a regression to the front foot elevated split squat. Uh, that's an exercise that I try to build up nearly almost anyone that I work with at some point in time will probably get progressed to that exercise, but how do we get there? Right, because not everyone is safe or appropriate to build up straight to that exercise. So a good place to regress the front foot uh, split squat is actually in a door frame. This is an exercise that if you're a client of mine and um, we're working through a knee replacement or any kind of knee surgery, very often I will incorporate this exercise. So <clears throat> to progress the split squat or to regress the split squat, what I like to have people do is just find any door frame in their home and then finding a step length that's comfortable for them, depending on leg length, everyone will be slightly different. They're going to put the affected leg or the, the primary leg they're trying to strengthen forward. And then we're going to have you take a step back with the opposite leg. Once you're here, you're just going to want to keep your low back and mid back glued to that door frame. Boom, straight up and straight down. And you're going to feel this leg completely turn on. If you're having trouble with it and this foot's wanting to rotate out, think about driving that big toe again straight into the ground. I love this exercise for anyone that's about six to ten weeks post-op a knee replacement um, or again if we're building up to the front foot elevated split squat out in open space. So not everyone has the balance to just to start with that exercise. This is a good regression. <coughs> Once we're here, what I'll oftentimes have people do is actually switch the surgical leg or the affected leg to make that the one that goes backwards. So if you're having your surgical leg and you want to get used to weight bearing on that leg, this is a really nice and safe position. The person and the, or the, the client feels really comfortable because they can control the amount of weight that goes on that knee. So typically somewhere between six to 10 weeks, especially for my knee replacement clients when they're trying to learn how to put weight on that leg again, we'll oftentimes put a pillow or put something soft under that knee as they begin to just explore what it feels like to weight bear through their, their surgical knee again. So I love this exercise because not only does it work to, you know, for so many different things, but it's also a, a progression to floor transfer. So for someone who's a little bit older and might be looking to practice getting on and off the ground, you know, you're here in this position, once you're here, you could even play around putting, leaning forward. Now you have the door frame. You can actually begin to practice coming down on all fours, which a lot of older people hardly ever practice. So this is a nice and safe position in that door frame to work on. So a good progression to this exercise if you're working on range of motion. So let's say you're, you're roughly eight weeks post-op knee replacement and you still need to get a little bit more range and your leg is feeling pretty stiff, I will oftentimes have you elevate that front foot. By elevating that foot, you're able to get a deeper range on that front leg. So front foot elevated, back foot goes back, and just stay along that door frame. And you can see here, I've got a deeper, uh, deeper knee angle here to work on range of motion. So there it is, guys. Um, the door frame regression to a front foot elevated split squat. Let me know what you think. Um, appreciate it. Appreciate you watching. <coughs>